guys, it's Allie from Allie's Best, and today we are going to be talking about my skin. So, ever since having Bowie, my skin has felt gross. <laughs> Just like not as happy, young, and youthful, tired, tired. That's something definitely my skin has felt. I decided to give myself a little week long challenge of like actually doing my skincare and like finding a skincare routine and taking care of my skin. Right now, my skincare routine is zero. I literally do nothing to my face. So I know nothing about skincare. So I decided to contact my friend Liz, who works for Beauty Counter. We used to work together at a sporting goods store. And now I follow her on Instagram and she was talking a lot about Beauty Counter and she like does all this political stuff for Beauty Counter. So I thought I would contact her and she would help me out with a skincare routine. And tell me a little bit about like why I should be picking clean products, what is a clean product, how to pick clean products. So I can help you guys at home shop you know shop smart and healthy so let's go hey Liz hey Allie <laughs> um I'm so excited that I get to talk to you because I was just telling my viewers that I am tired of my new mom skin <laughs> new mom skin is a real thing it really is though it has completely changed since I was pregnant. Like no sleep, no time to do anything. And dehydrated. So I'm really excited about all of these like cool little things I got in the mail. But I wanted to start with like, I don't know anything about beauty counter. And like maybe a little bit like, so I told them that we used to work together, but a little bit about you and a little bit about beauty counter so that everyone can get to know you, Liz. Yes, I joined Beauty Counter. It's been almost two years that I added my voice to Beauty Counter's mission. So Beauty Counter is a mission-based beauty brand. Our mission is to get safer products into the hands of everyone. Products, not Beauty Counter products. Our goal yeah. is to make all products on all shelves safer. So I feel like I've seen you like go to some like legal things or going mm -hmm. to law places. Yeah. What's all that? So um, the U.S. currently only bans 30 ingredients from personal care products, while the EU bans 1,400. Wow. And a law has not been passed since 1938 to, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, shocking. Like, we're so far ahead in so many ways and so, like, archaic in this way. And uh, about a 1,000 chemicals are made every year and put into market. So there has been well over 80,000 new chemicals introduced into the market since that law was passed, and none of them have been tested on human health. So twice I've gotten to go to Sacramento to lobby and tell um, our congressmen and assemblymen and women about why this issue is important and why when they see this on a bill, why they need to vote. Um, in favor of more health protective laws. So someone's at the store and you can't, you know, trust pure and natural or green, those kind of buzzwords. How yeah. can someone find something at a store right. or a Sephora or online that is like cleaner and safer? That's a great question because you're, <laughs> you're like, so I have to be a scientist is what you're saying um, to understand any of this. I would just turn over the label on anything. And the first word that I would look for is fragrance, perfume, or parfum. And um, that's actually a legal loophole that companies, uh, that, it's like a blanket statement. It's not really an ingredient. It's a cocktail of ingredients that makes their fragrance. And it makes, it's their like secret sauce. Mm -hmm. um, so that could be five ingredients. It could be 1,500 ingredients. It helps them stick to your skin. So there's a lot of hormone disruptors in fragrance. So I would, that is the first, you know, I'm always like, if you can remember one thing, remember the F word, fragrance. If a company is disclosing what makes their products smell good, then they're likely doing other things well and safe and good by their customer. So that's the first one. Um, the next thing I would do is download the EWG app. EWG stands for Environmental Working Group. Um, they are a nonprofit that rates the health, health and safety of products. They are the ones that came out with the Dirty Dozen oh, cool. for food. Yeah. And then they started a website called Healthy Living. Oh, neat. Or like a part of the, or Skin Deep Healthy Living. And you can type in the name of a product and it'll give you a score. Tip I have is Beauty Counter has something called 
the never list that's our 1800 ingredients that we don't use okay, nice. this is a pocket never list and you can download this like take a screenshot on your phone from our website or um oh, i can mail you one of these cards and it has the most common harmful ingredients um, yeah. that are found in personal care products my skin has become kind of like dry and sad and just like a little bit listless I guess yeah <laughs> you know it's capable of more yeah exactly I feel like I'm not you know I, I haven't gotten so far behind that I like can't do some reparative work here <laughs> yeah well luckily you're I mean you have like very even skin even if it's dry your skin tone is even and yeah all we need to do is just Pump it up with some hydration. Yeah. So let's see. I have one. I have five things that I got in the mail, and I thought maybe you could kind of like explain to me how I use them and what order I use them, and then yeah. I'm hoping you could teach me how to wash my face, I, which is shocking. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm 31, and now I'm like, will someone teach me? I mean, there's got to be other people out there like you. I want a, I want an easy entry. Like I have a lot of time on my hands now that we're all home, but I also have a new baby who does take up a significant amount of time. Yeah. So I'm ready for like the easy intro to skincare. So what I sent you was um, the cleanser, the counter start cleanser, and then the moisturizer. And for counter start, it's just those two things. Okay. Okay. So do you want to actually go wash your face? Yeah, let's do okay. it. Okay. Yeah. So first I just splash water on my face. Yeah, so since you're using a washcloth, why don't you just get your washcloth wet and like kind of get it all over your face? Okay. okay, I think I'm very moist. Okay, and then put a little bit of the face wash in your hand. Okay, and that's the cleanser? Yeah, the cleanser. The cocoa cream cleanser, and it's a coconut-based product coconut oil in it and aloe and vitamin E and things that are just really gentle and hydrating. So with wet hands, just rub it around and, and then rub it on your face. I cannot believe I'm doing this on camera right now. <laughs> you can, this is gentle enough. You can rub it on your eyes, which oh, wow. uh, a friend who's an optometrist said we should always be like washing our eyes and the base of our eyelashes. Um, but especially if you have on makeup, Normally, you'd splash the water on your face to wash it off, and then, yes, grab your towel and dry your face off. Yes. And you're being so nice and gentle. I heard someone say, don't rub your face. So then you got something called the resurfacing peel, too, right? I did. Glass bottle. Yeah. Yeah. This is gorgeous, by the way, the bottle. So retinols and, um, and retin-A are on our never list. Mm -hmm. So we won't use them. And this peel is like a no peel, peel safe alternative. So um, tonight, what you'll do when you wash your face again, so you wash your face in the morning when you wake up and then before you go to bed and you'll do the same routine, except um, at nighttime, you'll use that peel and you just use one pump okay. and put it all over your face and it might tingle. It won't hurt, but it'll tingle. And um, that means that, you know, it's working let it dry for like five minutes if you can. So I brush my teeth and put on my pajamas. Mm -hmm. And then by the time it's done, then you use your moisturizer. And that should help with any uneven skin tone, help like gently, very gently slough off dead skin um, and just smooth out your skin in general. So I want to hear what you think tomorrow. Oh, a hundred percent. Okay, so now let's move on to the eye cream. Ooh, eye cream. This is like making me feel like an adult. I feel like adult women have an eye cream. Eye cream is something you want to use twice a day. And eye cream is something that you're not, tomorrow you're not going to be like, oh my God, look at my eyes. I use that eye cream. But you, and you know, in 10 years, you might be like looking at your friends who didn't have an eye cream and you're going to be like, oh God, I use that eye cream. I know that this, I mean... It could just be genetics, but my one friend who has a very diligent skincare routine, we are basically the exact same age and I can 100% tell. So this is, so our counter match line is like sort of the next step up in skincare. It's really gentle. It's good for everyone. It has this cool biomimic technology. So it gives your skin everything it needs and nothing that it doesn't. Um, and it's great for hydration 
and then has some anti-aging properties to it too. So when you feel like you've graduated from counter start, counter match is where you'll go next and it'll match your skin tone. A little goes a long way. Right. So I would use about a quarter of a pump or half of a pump on this and always put on your ring finger. Always put on my ring finger. Ooh. Yeah, so a little goes a long way. Okay. And then rub your fingers together. And eye cream goes, I have a, I don't want to make it, but I'll put it on. Eye cream goes, it helps with crow's feet and, and dark circles. So it does not, not on your eyelid. You can put it like on top of your brow bone if you want um, and just gently pat it in. Okay. If there's extra, this is a tip from my mom and my mom has flawless skin. Um, put it on your lips to help with like the down lines, <gasps> like wrinkles. Um, and then I have like a, re a really terrible wrinkle from like a, a frown line here and I put it there. Oh my God. I used to make fun of my mom's worry lines all the time. I would go up to her and go boop, boop and try to <laughs> move her eyebrows. And now I have the same ones. And I'm adopted and I have the same worrying lines as her. Okay, so now is your moisturizer. Oh, okay. Uh, so these three, three steps you do twice a day. And it's also a coconut based product with aloe vera and vitamin E. So you put just, yeah, just like a, I mean, just maybe more than that, but not much. I don't know, like a pea. Okay, yeah, that's about a pea. Oh, and, and just rub it all over your face. Oh my goodness. How does your skin feel? It already feels really good, and I was not expecting this, but it already feels so soft. That's incredible. Like, even after I washed it, I was like, no, Allie, there's no way you're feeling something already. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, oh, my gosh. It's like, I do need a little bit more. Um, even just, like, not the feeling, like, the way, like, it feels soft when I touch it with my hand, but I just feel in my skin, like, a freshness. Like, That's my great. feels. Yeah, it, I mean, yeah, it needs to be, uh, treated nicely to the final step of the morning which is our dew skin and that is a tinted spf Ooh, this is exciting and you want to wear spf every day so there's different kinds of um rays right there's uva rays and uvb rays so uva rays are aging rays a for aging and uvb rays are burning rays Ooh. um and so you uh, I mean, there are certain skin types that don't burn as easily as others, and um, so they think they don't need sunscreen, right? I am definitely saying that song to people so many times. When you're shopping for sunscreen, here's a tip. Avoid the O's. Okay. Oxybenzone, oxidoxate, octisolate, and octocrylene. Those are all either bad for human health or bad for the environment, specifically the coral reefs. Zinc is super white, though, right? Like, yeah. remember 90s lifeguards? Yeah. yeah. So who wants to put that on? So no one wants to put that on their face. Um, so ours is tinted to make sure that there's no white cast on your face. Okay. And the tint functions as like a tiny bit of makeup too. It's very sheer. This may be too dark for me. We will see. We'll see. Yeah. This comes in five shades. Okay. Well, okay. But I can't imagine that you and I are the same shade and I wear number three. We'll see. Yeah, we'll I'm, ex I'm like getting close to the screen. Yeah, put it everywhere. Not on your eyes or like near your eyes. You don't need it there. Oh, I don't know. Maybe this is right. What? It smells good. I said maybe it is the right shade. Because you're right. It is like. It's sheer. It's pretty sheer. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I feel so prepared for the day. Like. Don't I'm forget your forehead. Oh, so you know, if people can see it easier on my hand, that looks, you know, you can see it, but then it, it rubs in. Oh yeah. Clear. I mean, it looks cause my hands have gotten so tan. Like it looks almost exactly like my hand. Yeah. I probably put a little too, well, I'm going to put it on the back of my hands. Like you can put on as much as you want. Yeah. And then I was going to say, whatever's left on your hands, put on the back of your hands. Oh, for any product, right? Like, don't waste product on the palms of your hands. Right. Put it on the, rub it in on the back of your hands. I feel like I look like I'm wearing makeup now. Like, as opposed yeah, to... Yeah, I mean, a lot of days I just wear this and, like, a little bit of concealer under my eyes. Okay, Liz, thank you so much for all this information. I cannot wait for my week of skincare journey, and hopefully 
longer. I'm already feeling like, I honestly think the video even shows that I already look like- You do look glowy. Yeah. Right? Yes, you do. I cannot imagine what a week is going to do to my face. I'm excited. The next step, we should do a video with makeup. I would love to. Our I mean, makeup is so natural. We have this, like, it's it's called Flawless in Five. It's your whole makeup. It's six products that you can do in five minutes or less. So we can make a fast video, and I want to see what you look like with, like, just totally fresh face. Like, a washed face, a hydrated face, and then just, like, a natural, natural glow. Oh, that would be amazing. I love that idea. Okay. Well, I'll talk to you soon. And of course, I'll be like texting you updates and stuff as we go. Yeah. Text me with any questions too. Okay. I will. Okay. Even if you're washing your face at like 11 o'clock at night and you're like, what do I do? <laughs> I will. I'm awake. Awesome. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Okay. So I'm going to do my first evening wash with everything, but the thing I'm doing differently tonight is I'm using the overnight resurfacing peel. I have to say like all day, my skin has felt really great. So I'm excited to see like what doing this every night is going to do. So I'll update you when I have the mask on. I definitely feel the tingle from the mask. It does. And it's not uncomfortable. It feels really refreshing. Um, it was just a thin, clear serum and it's a little bit tacky. And the bottle says to keep it on overnight under um, moisturizer, like to do moisturizer next. Liz says she washed it off. So I think I'm gonna wash it off today in just a couple minutes, um, but then see what she says and maybe I'll keep it on another day and see what happens. But yeah, I feel like my skin looks good. I don't know about what you guys think. Okay guys, so this is what my skin looks like after the first night. Um, I have a couple of little breakouts and spots and things happening, but overall my skin feels good um, and a little bit oily, but that's okay. I am going to, Bowie's playing, so I'm going to do the whole morning routine right now. quarter pump of eye cream, moisturizer. Okay, here's the one I'm most excited about for today. It is the Dew Skin. This is the sunscreen coverage. It's tinted zinc. This is what I look like. I definitely look less shiny, I think, in person, but I'm ready for the day. I'm even wearing like a light, light, light makeup. So I'm excited. Let's go see what that baby needs. So I thought I was recording and I wasn't, but oh, my mirror is filthy, but that's fine. Um, but I just did the cleanser on my face and since I did the mask yesterday, which I did wrong, I washed it off and I was supposed to leave it on. Um, but since I did that yesterday, I'm gonna skip it today, which means just go straight to the eye cream and the moisturizer and I'm done. So I think my face feels awesome. Obviously like when you go from doing nothing to your face to washing it, like I'm guessing that could make a huge difference. But yeah, my skin feels so good. <laughs> Yeah, this is the fourth morning. Last night I did the resurfacing peel and the, the one that I thought you washed off but you actually leave on. And I do feel like a tightness from it. Um, I don't know if that's what it was supposed to do but that is what I feel. Yeah, I think my skin's looking pretty good. Even like I have this like darkness from my first pregnancy. I got that, even that seems maybe like a little bit lighter. I don't know. Um, I'm liking having a routine. Some mornings I feel like, or like some mornings and evenings, I feel like I'm in such a rush that like I, it's kind of hard to fit it in even though it is so short. Um, but I'm used to just like brushing my teeth and going. So any increase seems like a lot, but I'm liking it. I'm liking having like a little spa time to myself. So I'm gonna go wash my face. Probably should not have gotten dressed first. 
rookie mistake. All right, well, that was a fun four minutes to myself, plus the time I went out to check on her. Let's go. Night three. Yeah, night three. And I'm gonna wash my face and go to bed. There's probably a nicer way to rub this in your face, but I'm tired and I'm filming and I forgot my eye cream. So you know what? We're gonna skip eye cream today. Not a big deal. Not a huge deal. It'll be fine. Clean it. Moisturize it. Call it a day. It is night five. I totally just didn't do my daytime routine. But even not doing my daytime routine, my skin feels great. Um, in fact, I would say my forehead feels a little bit less oily, having given my face a break. But today I am going to go ahead and do my skin routine and I am gonna do the peel today because I didn't do it yesterday, so that'll be fun. Okay, now for my resurfacing peel. Okay, I did a whole pump. I think I was supposed to do less than that. It's supposed to tingle. I'm gonna do actually a little quarter pump more so I can get my whole forehead in like a nice, thin layer, but not on, not in the goggle zone. Okay, then I let that sit for five minutes, then I put on my moisturizer. I love doing this. I love doing this. It is day, no, night five. I did not do my face in the morning again. No, night six. It is night six. Yeah, it is night six. I did not do my morning face again. I have a zit coming through, but overall my skin feels good. I got some sun today without my sunscreen on. I know, ridiculous. So I'm gonna wash my face and tomorrow I have to do my morning routine because I'm definitely gonna be out in the sun and I wanna have sunscreen on. So yeah, I'm gonna wash my face like usual and keep going. Guys, it's the last day of my skincare experiment. So I just woke up, I'm gonna brush, brush my face, I'm gonna brush my teeth and wash my face, and then sometime later today, I'm going to tell you how I feel about having a skincare routine. But I think I look pretty good, minus my zit in the middle of my face, but that's fine. Okay guys, I am back from the river and my skin feels great. I don't feel like I've been sunburned. I may, might have gotten a little color, but I don't feel like, you know, my skin doesn't hurt at all, which is always my goal when I'm wearing sunscreen out in a day. Overall, I think I have to say, I really like having a skincare routine. Um, I, it makes me feel a little bit more luxurious. Like every morning I have to take time to myself and every night I have to take time to myself to have this like luxury skincare experience. And I'm really liking that. So overall, I think I'm gonna stick with a skincare routine. I think. I think it, it works for me. I think I'm gonna stick with the beauty counter stuff I got too. I mean, I figure why not? My skin's reacting to it okay. I did get a zit, but I'm wondering if that's just like my skin reacting to like never having had a skincare routine before. My skin feels clean, my skin feels bright, my skin feels better to be in. So yeah, I say if you do not have a skincare routine, I say get on it. Do it cleanly, you know, use the clean advice that Liv gave us, but like, it doesn't have to be beauty counter. It can be anything clean, right? So yeah, guys, go out there, try it. If you like this video, if you like me trying new things that maybe you wanna try, let me know. Tell me, what should I do next? Do I need a makeup routine? Should I be wearing makeup every day? I mean, I doubt I will ever be someone who wears makeup every day, but I didn't ever think I'd be a skincare person and now I'm a skincare person, so. You live and you learn. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm so thankful to have you here and I'll talk to you later. Bye.